thank you all for coming. Uh, again, my name is Dale Dunn. Uh, I served in the U.S. Air Force. I served in the U.S. Air Force from 2003 to 2007, and uh, part of that time was here in Portland. And uh, during that time, I took an oath to the Constitution, and it is in fulfillment of that oath that I'm out here today. Uh, thank you, real quick. Anybody that has taken an oath to the Constitution past, can you raise your hand? All right, thank you, everybody. I believe in all power to the people. And Woo! Right. And they cannot do this without the people giving them the power to do that. Yes. One of the things that we need to do is to remove that power from them. We need to resist. We are out here today to resist yes. their spying on us, their control of us, and we need to let the other people know so that they can resist too. Woo! So the next up I have uh, Candace Morgan. Candace is the president of the ACLU of Oregon. Woo! Woo! Thank you. All right. okay. The ACLU uh, nationally has filed suit against the warrantless uh, getting information uh, from the phone calls, from the internet, etc. And, yeah. right. and each and every time the court dismissed it because they said that we had no standing. But because it was classified information, we couldn't prove that we had said. We can't well, know. But yes, and guess what phone company the ACLU uses for all of its lines nationally, including the line a whistleblower might call for help? Verizon. On June 11th, we filed a suit against the, the, the Foreign Intelligence Surveillance Act amendments that brought about the FISA court. Also filed a request to the FISA court to reveal how and what it is collecting. Yeah. So uh, this time, it's hard to imagine how they could say that we don't have standing. So I want to share a few stories of people coming together uh, to actually make real changes. And they're both from uh, my community, the veteran community. And the first one is actually from here in Portland. Uh, back in 1932, a guy named Walter Waters, was, during the height of the Great Depression, you know he is. He lost everything and he wanted to go get money from the government uh, because the government owed him money. Back in 24, I think it was, uh, the government passed a resolution saying that if you served in World War I, whether at home or overseas, you'd be given basically a dollar a day, uh, up to $500. But this money wasn't going to be paid out until 1945. And this is the middle of the Great Depression. Everyone's poor. So, they, so the veterans in particular knew they were owed money and they needed to go fight for it. So Walter Waters, a guy from Oregon who was in Portland, decided to speak up about this issue. And he went to an American Legion Hall and said, we need to march on Washington, D.C. and get this money back. Woo! And that's exactly what he did. 200 guys left, 200 veterans, left Portland from the train station down there and went to Washington, D.C. And when they arrived, when they arrived, they were, I think, 6,000 of them. The message spread across the country like wildfire. Yeah. By June, just months after he had had his initial conversation about walking to Washington, D.C. from Portland, there were 17,000 veterans there. They overwhelmed the state police. They had to call in the Army. And eventually, unfortunately, the Army was called in to disperse their camps. But they called themselves the Bonus Expeditionary Force. And this movement was so powerful. It resonated so heavily with people that People came from all over the country and organized and, and took trains out. They found any way they could to go to Washington, D.C. because of one guy's speech here in Portland. So there's some power there. Thank you, Edward Snowden. Yeah. And I don't have to tell you what good he has done to expose the dirty, rotten, United States government. <laughs> Julian Assange. Woo! Bradley Manning. The yellow sign here says, if they lie to us about the NSA secrets and spying, what else are they lying to us about? <laughs> Libya. Syria, Laos, yeah. <laughs> everywhere, the two parties.
parties are a joke. And we have to yes. Party of the USA is in power today. Yep. Yeah. Woo! Yeah. And that party is a hierarchical power party where money at the top, money and wealth of the one percent is in control of this society today. If we want to change that, you better get out of the left-right matrix. Yeah. yeah. Woo! Yeah. yeah. We do that is to do what we're doing today, and that is to get the word out. Don't buy what the mainstream media has to say. Can you think of a better, a bigger joke than the mainstream media? It's the corporate media. Corporate media. Corporate, corporate bought and paid for media is what omits valuable information in the news. Ever listen to the mainstream media and wonder what the hell are they talking about? Yeah. yeah. Let's know what's going on. Let's help them understand what is really happening in this country to our rights being flushed down the toilet and for the powerful to take us into a nuclear third world war. If we're not careful, we better start getting the word out and save ourselves and save yeah. this planet. Yeah! Woo! Woo! And they're just trying to, they're just trying to give us the truth about what's happening. And it's really messed up because they can, the government can get it one way. The government can collect all this information and have every, every piece of information about you, your religious affiliation, who you vote for, where you are, who you're calling, how long you're calling them for, what you're searching for, who you're emailing, what, what's the contents of that email, everything about credit you. Credit card transactions. Credit card transactions, groups that you support, they've got it all. And when uh, Bradley Manning leaks a video of a war crime, He's, uh, he's thrown in the break for three years without charges, and now we're entering like the fifth week of his show trial, which we don't have public access to. I have held low-level political office. I have been a representative. I come to the state of Washington. I came down here today, obviously, to be in solidarity with you all. Woo! We should not be afraid. No! Yeah! Woo! Fear is what they're counting on. Yeah. We have to replace fear Courage. Yes. Every cop, every soldier, every elected official raises their right hand and swears to defend the Constitution against all enemies, foreign and domestic. Ago, our founders said that if this republic, this democratic republic falls, it won't be because a foreign enemy brings us down. It'll be an enemy from within. We are looking that enemy from within in the eyes right now, and we shall not fight. Yeah! Woo! Now, I think it's extremely important that we learn lessons from the past. We can walk in the footsteps of great leaders who practice courageous nonviolence. Yes. There is nothing our opposition, our enemies want better than for people to commit acts of wanton violence. Yes. And so all of us must pledge ourselves, not only personally, but in dealing with the people around us, okay, that we will not tolerate violence and destruction. Yes. Otherwise, you aid the enemy. Yes. If you're up there recording this, <laughs> I hope okay, this message goes out loud and clear. This is not just about the CIA, the FBI, the NSA. They work for a larger power elite. And yes. If you think the information is just going one way, you're wrong. Okay? The same corporations, whether it's Booz Allen or it's credit card companies, they give and they get. And what this is really about is not protecting the United States from terrorism. It is about creating a docile, submissive populace that will do what the boss man says. Woo! Yeah! Woo! Don't, don't, don't. Don't let them tell you if you have 
haven't got anything to hide, you don't have anything to worry about. Because that's just bullshit. Bullshit. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. The books you read, the movies you download or rent, the medication you've taken, your college and high school and grammar school records, okay? These people are coming after you. They're coming after me. They're coming after our family. And so we draw the line now and we fight. We need, the way we fight is we've got to tell our neighbors and we have to convince people. Yes. If that doesn't work, here's my last comment. We need to be ready to strike. Our yes. Our ultimate weapon is to do General Strike. Nothing. Yes. Nothing. Imagine a day where America has had it and we turn to the power elite and we say, you know what we're going to do? Nothing. We don't shop, we don't drive, we don't work, we don't do nothing. And we will bring everything to a halt. Yes. If they don't stop shredding, okay, the heart of the Constitution, which all of these elected representatives promised, okay, to defend. Great to see everybody out here. Portland is obviously one of the more progressive places I've seen compared to Oakland, the places where they're built in. Um, yeah. I just want to say that uh, there's a really good quote, and it was, uh, the truth becomes treasonous in an empire of lies. Those who make revolution impossible are also making uh, violent revolution inevitable, which is what we're seeing. It's important that we stay unified. That is the key to this working. They, the, Corporate media has actually turned the Tea Party and the Occupy into left and right, which is how they are dividing us. We must remember that they are taking away the one thing that keeps us together, which is this Constitution. One Fourth thing. Amendment text, the right of the people to be secure in their persons, houses, papers, and effects against unreasonable searches and seizures shall not be violated, and no warrants shall issue but upon probable cause supported by all affirmation and particularly describing the place to be searched and the person or things to be seen. Hey! There are nobody! Yep. But I'm here. I got off my soft ass, off my soft couch, all off my two acres out in Carl. Why don't you guys think about what you might want to do next? I thought I want to march on Washington before you said it. Yeah. If anybody here says they're going to walk, march on Washington, I'll walk the whole fucking way. Starting yeah. Yeah. yeah! Woo! Yeah! I'm telling you, it's over. Yes. If we don't do something, it's, it's over for all of us. Yeah! that changes our constitution. Look at Egypt. They had their revolution. What they get? Zippity doo da. I'm nobody. And you're probably... nobody. Let's all be nobodies together and get something done. Yeah. Woo. I think I am more proud to be a native Portland Oregonian today on Independence Day than I am proud to be an American because of all of you are out here today right now. Standing up for what we need to be standing up for. I've been inspired to do my own independent alternative radio program which I host out of my bedroom online so if you uh, all of the people out here are saying the media didn't cover this the media didn't cover this the fucking corporate media doesn't cover this yeah. but the real independent alternative radical truth-telling media does cover this and this is why I am here today live camera I am nobody who is Edward Snowden he's a high school dropout he has no power, he has no position, he has no prestige, and Edward Snowden has changed the fucking world! Yeah. Yeah. So never, 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 ever, for one second, ever, underestimate your ability to change the world! Yeah. That's my yeah.